was my Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can create some interesting colour designs using gradients and envelopes. Now first thing to do, just going to quickly go and select ellipse tool and just going to create a path. Now I've got a design already in there, gradient in there. What I'm just going to do is just, just going to go for one of the default ones, just select that so I can show how I actually build up the gradient. Now first thing to do, just go over here. I want to actually add a bit more colour than this, not just blue. So I'm just going to double click on there and I'm going to put some orange and also I'm just going to click there, green. I'm just going to go for a whole range of different colours. Stretch that out a bit and that. And now this one, this right at the end, I'm actually going to go for opacity zero. Just going to set that to opacity zero. Now all the others I'm just going to keep 100%. I could actually just change that as one as well. Doesn't have to be 100%, but maybe go for 40%. So it just fades away from blue. And you could add another color there. And I'm just going to go for, say, a red or pink. Right. Now I've got that design. And of course, at that point, I can just go to stretch that out using the gradient tool. Just go there, gradient tool. What I want to do next is actually I'm going to add another path, exactly the same, and it's just going to be another circle on top. So I've just got two now, two circles. I'm going to select both, and I'm going to go to Object, and then Envelope Distort, and Make with Top Object. So, right, so just make the top, and you can see it's distorted. And also I'm just going to go down to Envelope Distort and Envelope Options. Key thing here is the distort linear gradients fill. So just set that to on. Click OK. Now what you can do, just go over here to the direct selection tool and you can distort the design. So you can actually see you actually distort the gradient actually. Just push that in there and you can just see it squeeze in there. And you can of course modify it in different places. You can create some really odd shapes and designs just by just using this. So you can just distort. Sometimes you can actually end up with some very unusual sort of distortions where sort of different fragments of gradient appear in different places. Now maybe that's not what you want, but I'm just gonna just gonna say go for that point. Right. So I've got that design there for the gradient. So you can really distort gradients in some very interesting odd color ways. And again, it's still live. So if you actually go to object and envelope just and edit contents. Just go in there and you can actually move that around. You can see you can just quickly change the position and you can see distortions again. All right, just going to go with say that one or that one. Okay, that one. Now, once you've done that, just go back to object envelope and edit envelope. So now what you can do, you can, see you can just move that around. You can rotate it. But what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to go to Effect and Effect and go down to, not Distort down there, Distort and Transform, just down to Transform. I'm going to use that one. And you can make it as, as many copies as you want. I've actually going to, I'm just going to go for, say, like 12. Don't have to, but you can just go for 12 and set the preview on. At this point, you can't see anything. Let's say you set that to 30. So now what you've got is a nice sort of design. Now you could actually move that out so you can change that around. It's, it's live, so you can just change it and decide later you like or dislike a certain effect. You can modify the angle a bit more. So you can create a whole range of different unusual color designs just by moving around. Now I'm going to go back for 30. Again, you can go there or maybe vertical, go. And you can see straight away you've got a whole range of different designs. Now, once you've finished that, you can also, of course, modify it afterwards as well. So you can just drag that envelope around and modify the envelope itself. So you can just go, see so there you've got the actual design, so you can stretch that out, just maybe stretch that in, again change the design, maybe stretch that out that way. Out and say Select that point there, Maybe pull that in, and you can see what you can do once you've got that. 
But you can also, of course, just rotate the design and that will change the actual result as well. So you stretch that down, maybe extend that out, and so on and so on. Literally, and what you can of course do, not only that, it's still live again. So the key thing here is live, and you can go to object and envelope distort and edit contents. So I'm just gonna to go to the gradient again, and you can change the gradient. So you can just create a whole range of different color designs just by yeah, some work better. And again, you've still got the live effect. You can still go and edit that transform, but you've, you've got that initial effect. And again, of course, it's still live over here as well. You don't actually have to keep that, so you can move that around as well. So they can, and you can add points there as well. So if you want to change that, you can go out or in, or just make it as small or as big. Literally thousands of different designs can be just created. And as obviously you get around, work out certain patterns that work better than others. So you can create a whole range of different great designs. And sometimes like that, zero designs. Okay, so there you have it. Quick guide to using envelopes, transforms, and gradients to create some really interesting colorful effects in Illustrator. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.